Scorpio, it's about that time for your love reading, it's about that time. So this video is going to be for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If this reading doesn't resonate for you, definitely make sure you check out your other placements. So far, I have up all the signs except, if I'm not mistaken, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. All the other signs is up. Um, you can also book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. I do want to give a quick disclaimer, you guys, when you book through my site or through my Instagram, it is sent within a 72 hour time frame. Please do not rush me. Please do not blow me up. It is sent within a 72 hour time frame. If you would like to receive your reading the same day, I do provide a rush fee, um, an additional fee of $15.55 if you would like it the same day. But other than that, Readings are sent within a 72 hour time frame. Now this reading that I'm going to do for you guys is inspired from my Monday deals, which all my deals are on my Instagram page. Instagram is in the description box. Mondays and Wednesdays I do deals. Mondays is mini love message Mondays and Wednesdays is what's their current feelings Wednesdays. So even with the deals on my story, it is sent within a 72 hour time frame. Please do not rush me. Now, let's dive right into your reading. So, Scorpio, your love interest, their love message to you. The first card is there's a meeting in my bedroom. So, they're they're desiring you sexually. And I also feel it, this has to be somebody that you're separated from, whether it's emotional distance or physical distance. The next card is I miss you, like, every day. So, your love interest, they're missing you, but I feel like what they're missing most is you sexually. Yes, they're missing you yourself. But I feel like what they're missing the most is you sexually. Maybe you do some things, some tricks in the bedroom that they never had. And they're like, damn, I'm missing my Scorpio. I'm... And actually, Scorpios is known to be for freaks. So I'm not surprised. Scorpios, y'all have that uh, stereotype that y'all freaky. And y'all be doing things that other people or other signs may not be may not be interested in doing. So I'm not surprised, actually, but your love interest, they're definitely desiring you sexually. They definitely want, you know, some bedroom loving. What else does my Scorpio's love interest want to tell my Scorpios? Cleo, please stop. We have the Nine of Wands reversed and the Moon card, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Your love interest, they don't have much fight in them. Hold on, let me get Cleo from this damn closet. Cleo, please stop. Your love interest, they don't have much fight left in them for this love connection, but also with love in general. Like, with the Nine of Wands here in reverse, I feel like this love connection, it y'all experience lots of trials and tribulations and challenges together within this love connection. I feel like this love connection was a bit stressful and your love interests they're missing you they want you especially for the ones that separated they're missing you they want to get back together they want to reconcile but they just simply don't have enough fight in them they don't want to fight in general they don't want to argue in general but also they just don't have enough fight in them in the sense of they just don't have energy to fight for you to fight for the connection to make it work what else is their love interest Wants to tell my Scorpios, my Scorpios love interest. Queen of Swords. Clarification on the Moon card. Cleo. Strength. Leo energy. So your love interest is actually hiding the fact that they want to get back together with you. They're hiding the fact that they want to reconcile. It's their pride and ego that's making them do so. So not only do they not have enough fight or energy to try and make this connection work their pride and ego is also forcing them to um cleo cut it out their um their pride and ego is actually preventing them no because wow now she's knocking things over goodness oh yeah she's doing anything for my attention can you stop Soon as I start recording, it's always once she see me at my little office section, she just starts doing anything for my attention. Alrighty, with the strength card, yeah, your love interest, their pride and ego is also what's stopping them from trying to make this connection work. But I feel like they're hiding that. Like they may use an excuse like, oh, this connection just isn't gonna work, or oh, I'm not interested in you anymore. Like they're hiding the fact that. 
They actually want to be with you. They actually want to try. They want to reconcile. They want to fight for this. They do. They just don't have enough in them to do so. But also, I just, I don't know. See, Cleo is distracting me. I'm losing my damn train of thought. But this person, it's like, they're hiding the fact that they're holding back. They're hiding the fact that they want to be with you. So let's say you guys argued a few weeks ago or a few months ago and it wasn't really anything crazy. It was just a petty, tiny argument. They may have used that as an excuse to walk away, but in reality, they didn't want to walk away. It's just their pride and ego is, is holding them back. But your love interest with this Queen of Swords here, they do feel like you have a really rough, in a harsh way with your words they feel like you can be very mean very spiteful very ugly with your words i don't know if you tend to do low blows if you tend to use things that they share with you against them but they feel like when you're angry or when you two are arguing you become a whole different person and it's like you become very ugly and mean my scorpio's love interest what is their current feelings towards my scorpio's they want to try. They want to try again. Three of Pentacles. They want to try again. I feel like this is going to be really random. Um, this is a channeled message. I feel like their family members love you so much that they speak to your love interest and they tell them like, hey, you need to get that Scorpio back. You need to make things right with that Scorpio. How are you in that Scorpio? Have y'all spoken? Are you going to reach out? Are you going to try and make things right? Like, I feel like their family members, they speak to them about you and they, they want y'all to get back together. So even if you didn't meet your love interest family members, um, it could just simply be they seen how happy you made their, you know, their child or their cousin, whatever the case may be. It's like they see how happy you made this person and they're like, okay, you need to get that Scorpio back. Point blank, period. With the tower here, they feel like it's too much that has happened between you two. It's too much that's been done, too much bad. And with the Six of Pentacles in reverse, that's why they're holding back. That's why they're not putting any effort in. And I feel like at one point they may have made you put in all the effort. At one point, the connection may have been very unrequited. And it's because they feel like too much has happened. So that's another thing. Like, I feel like this person, they're really in their head because as I'm continuing this reading, they got a brand new excuse. So one excuse is they don't have enough fight in them with the nine of wands reverse. They don't have enough fight in them. They don't have enough energy to try and make this connection work. Then another excuse is their pride and ego with what's holding them back. They're creating lies and excuses to use as to why they're holding back from you. Then the next excuse is they feel like too much has happened between you two. Too much negativity and toxicity and bad things has happened between you two to sit there and fight for this connection. Like, they they just keep coming up with some type of excuse as to why they're not putting any effort. As to why they're not making the connection work. And it's like, they're really sitting there trying to talk their self out of it. Knowing damn well they want to be with you. Knowing damn well they want to try again. Knowing damn well they miss your sex. They miss you in general. It's like, come on. For some of y'all, this person may reach out on a drunk night trying to have sex. And that's their way of, like reconciling on their own terms like in their mind that would be a good idea which of course they're going to be intoxicated so i don't blame them thinking that's a good idea they're not going to be in their right state of mind what is this person's next actions towards my scorpios for the rest of march for the rest of march what is this person's next actions towards my scorpios for the rest of march we got the king of pentacles here Four of Wands. Oh. Oh, they're going to be reaching out sometime in March. Without a doubt, they're going to be reaching out. We got the Three of Cups reconciliation. Now, the Three of Cups can mean a lot of things. But one of the many things that it can stand for is reconciliation. We have the Four of Wands, the King of Pentacles. Your love interest, they're going to reach out sometime in March. They're going to reach out to reconcile. Um, The third or fourth is significant. It could be the 23rd, the 24th. 
you could be seeing 444, 333, and that'll be your sign of, okay, this person is about to reach out. But your love interest, they're definitely going to reach out. They're definitely going to reach out to meet up with you. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they ask you to meet at your favorite restaurant or your favorite bar or if they just tell you to meet you at a restaurant to take you out on a date or something. I see your love interest, they want to take you out on a date. I don't know if that's something that y'all always did. Or for some of y'all, it could be something that y'all rarely ever did. And they're like, okay, let me switch it up and take my Scorpio out on a date. But something about a date is significant here. When they reach out, they're going to spend money on you. For some, they may give you a gift. They may take you out on a date and spend good money on you. It's something about money here and it's something about a date here. For some of y'all, channel message, they may owe you money and they're going to reach out and use that to reconcile. Like, hey, you know, I remember a few months ago you gave me $100 and I never paid you back. I, I, I'd like to meet up to give you that $100. Like, I feel like they're going to use that as a way to um, meet up with you. That's for a very small group of y'all. Aww. Scorpios, this is a pretty fast reading. Your love interest, they're not playing no games. They miss you. And although they're talking their self out of reconciling and reaching out, I do see eventually sometime in March, they are going to reach out to you. They are going to put in effort. Do you see this Four of Wands? Do you see how happy they are? And not only that, this Four of Wands sometimes can represent marriage proposals, um, bridal showers, um, a, a wedding ceremony and then you can even see in this card this person they're wearing they're wearing a white dress we got this person here in a tuxedo i'm telling you for some of y'all a very 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 small group it may resonate for 0 0.001 of y'all <laughs> this person may actually reach out trying to propose and that's why money is coming up because yeah they're gonna spend good money on that ring to propose they may spend good money on a setup at a restaurant to propose. They may, you know, buy the restaurant out for the day or for the night to propose. But the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups here, some type of celebration you are going to experience in March together. Some type of celebration. It could be you guys going to either one's family uh, wedding, baby shower, birthday. Something about a celebration is gonna is gonna happen in March between you two. All right. Well, this is the end of y'all reading. Thank you so much for supporting. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. The reading um for Mondays is Mini Love Message Mondays. It's definitely a mini love message, so it isn't as thorough and in-depth as this reading is. Um, but these messages are used or it'll be song messages. So definitely make sure you check out my Instagram page to book either deal, the mini love message Monday or the what's their current feelings Wednesdays. But thank you for watching, you guys. Have a great day, great night, whenever you see this reading.